Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to another invasion analysis video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be focusing on what what you can do to not die to gankers as much as you usually would. Um, I see it all over the place on the on Google and on Reddit and in in chat in live streams, and people are always asking, you know, how can I how can I die less to gankers? Well, there's not really one one answer for that because there's always different kind of ganks and different people doing the ganks. But for the most part, you want to just not focus on one person. Say you have a teammate like I do in this video, right? So there's two v there's a, it's a 2v2. It's an even setting for as of right now. So what's best to do is for you and your teammate to pick one guy and fight that guy exclusively pretty much um if if two of you get on one guy the other the other guy is just free to come up and backstab you or whatever blender you you know it it can happen very easily when there's when there's two or more people uh, that can't hit each other by the way cuz friendly fire is not a thing for ganks and it is for reds so you have to be very very careful so that's what me and this red are doing right here uh we we were doing a pretty decent job of it i i feel like but uh the other guys were pretty aggressive as well, so unfortunately my my friend gets taken down right there, he gets caught in the blender, so I take my take my space back this way. And I'm trying to think about what I need to be doing. Uh I I'm I'm gonna wait on another co invader to go back in there. I'm not gonna go in there and just jump right back into the middle of the gankers and get blendered to death. Um that's what happens a lot to people, I feel like. Um they get a little bit too eager about going and fighting the gank, and they end up dying for it. And it, it can be frustrating. So I decided on a straight sword crossbow setup. Um, since since there's two of them and one of me, um, I picked the crossbow and straight sword setup so I can pressure them from afar and up close, uh, even though there's just me against two of them. Uh, I can still put some very good pressure on them, uh, from a safe distance with the crossbow, and if they roll in for an attack, I've got the straight sword as well. So, just doing this to kind of bide time until a friend comes, because um, I probably could just run in there and fight them both at the same time, but that's very risky. Um, you probably end up dying doing that. So, I decide just to play it safe and stay back. Um, so they both they're both still after me. And see, you you can see that the the cross the crossbow is very very good at keeping their distance between me and them. And here I just decide to start throwing some bombs. They're here ganking. It's their world, so they they pretty much they have more health. They have more Estus, so it's good just to go ahead and get on their nerves a little bit. People play stupid when they when they're irritated. So throwing bombs is always is a tactic I always endorse as a as a viable tactic toward uh, from fighting ganks. So and see right there, he kind of started getting irritated, so he runs in for an attack, and I punish him with a with a crossbow. They're very confident, as you can see. And they should be because I am outnumbered, so and they just killed my friend, so Another thing about ganks is every time you do any damage at all is better than not doing damage. So as so you can see, I'm doing, I'm shooting these cross, these exploding bolts at these guys, and even if they're blocking, 74 damage it did to the guy blocking with his sword. So that's 74 damage that I would have otherwise not had in in the case of me being passive and not shooting. And unfortunately, they decide to get very aggressive right here, and this is about where I start my downfall of this particular invasion towards these guys. So I see they're they're serious again, so I'm trying to run away and get some get some distance. And 
Yeah, and right here I get caught in the in the ultra and I start to run off. I was going to run back behind the wall to the PVE, but they ended up getting me right here. And of course, you know, typical gankers, they they point down like they've outplayed me or something 2 to 1. So I get back in their world and I uh put on my obscuring ring and I sit here. Now, I left this in the video just because I want to make a point about being patient. This is sped up six times as fast as the normal as the normal uh, clip was, was recorded in. So, I put on my obscuring ring and I'm waiting for a co-invader. Sometimes it can be a little while when before you get a co-invader. Um... And in certain areas, it's it's harder to. Um, certain areas, you can have three people, but not ever get a, a helper just because they have to use the dried finger in order to get the helper. So, But fortunately for me, they have a dried finger active, so I can get a co-invader in. And I feel like waiting is very important because even... You can wait. See, they're they're not after me. They're not they're not pursuing me at this at this moment. So they didn't see me when I first came into the invasion. So my my waiting is paid off, and I get a co-invader here. As you can see, I was visibly happy to finally have somebody come in and help me. So, and I point up there just to show them that they're they're kind of camping up there. And right off the bat, I can see that this invader, he, he I feel like he knows what he's doing. And uh, they, they do a little surprise attack on us there. That was actually pretty funny. But they go, they go full speed and trying to kill us again, so. And again, it's just me versus this guy and the other, the other invader versus the host, so. This is the best chance we're going to get at taking down one of the, one or the other, so. Right here, I get a rolling backstab on the Phantom. And he starts to play stupid when he's nervous. So there we go. Took him down. And give him a cheeky point down just because. And now we're after the host. And I'm not sure if it's just coincidence or what. Um, but the host gets very, very laggy all of a sudden. Some people really take this take winning seriously in this game, unfortunately, and they like to lag switch when they start losing. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if that's what this guy's doing, but it was just awfully convenient that it happened to lag right there. So me and my friend really start putting pressure on this guy with our. I think he pulls a crossbow out as well, so we start to really put some pressure on him. Yeah, yeah. See, there is his crossbow. And here he goes lagging all over the place. I feel like he was waiting for his friend's summon sign, but we get him cornered right here and get to take him down. So give to him what he gave to me, and the invasion's over. Just because I was patient and waited for a friend to come help. I feel like if I just ran in there by myself, I maybe could have won that invasion. But since I waited for another red to come in, it was a 2v2, an even match again, and we were able to, 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 take, him, to take him out in the end. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned uh, at least a little bit something about this, uh, maybe some of you new invaders out there. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.